CNN starts to freak out about Kamala Harris after key swing state shifts towards Trump. <laughs> they don't they they are beside themselves. They don't understand why the people have spoken and, and said they want um uh, uh they want Donald Trump. They don't understand that um, because they live in their bubble. They don't understand that the average American is struggling right now and are tired of Kamala Harris and Biden policies that are destroying this country. So we're going to play the clip. We're going to talk about it. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. Um, there's also a link to my Instagram and my X account as well. So follow me there as well. All right, so let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from the red state from Bucci, and they report that a month ago, Camilla Harris was flying high, enjoying a surge of support in the aftermath of Joe Biden being forced out of the presidential race. The race didn't quite feel over at the time, but it certainly wasn't the best time for, for the Trump campaign. That's all changed with the release of several new polls showing the former president gaining ground and even um, leading. As Red State reported, the latest Times uh, seen a, a poll, Sienna poll, which election guru Nate Silver was rated as the best pollster in the country, showed Donald Trump with one, a one-point lead against Harris. That's significant given the Republican advantage in the Electoral College. It's not just the national polling that is tightening, though. At the state level, Harris is seeing some regression, and CNN recognized that on Monday. The network's election analyst, Harry Inton, sounded the alarm, noting that the vice president is in danger of losing the entire election because of her inability to lock up Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is going to be the state, I think, that's going to end up choosing this election, I believe. So um, if you're all out in Pennsylvania and you're a poll watcher and things like that, be vigilant. Be very, very vigilant. But um, um, let's, uh, let's, let's watch this clip here. To kind of put some meat on the bones, right, and do a better job than I did of just circling Pennsylvania. I'm going to be additive. I couldn't do a better job. I'm just going to make the product you've made even better. So I just want to take a look at Pennsylvania, 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 and what we see is a tightening race in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. All right, this is Harris versus Trump margin in the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. A month ago, when you looked at the polls, New York Times plus four Harris, plus three Quinnipiac for Harris, Franklin and Marshall plus three for Harris. But look at polls that have come out over the last week or so, and what do we see? We see a much tighter race. We see a tie in the CBS New YouGov poll. We see a tie in the CNN SSRS poll. And this, to me, is part of an emerging pattern, which is in a very pivotal state. What we saw was a small Harris lead, but within the margin of error, becoming a race that is way, way, way too close to call at this particular point, one that is even. You say very pivotal, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania could be. How pivotal? How pivotal. All right, so let's take a look at this particular map. This is with the betting favorites, but with Kamala Harris taking the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania over here. What do we see? We see that Kamala Harris wins in this particular case. Look at that, with exactly 270 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 268. All right, so Kamala Harris wins the Electoral College when she wins the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. But let's take Pennsylvania out of Kamala Harris's column and put him in a Donald Trump's column. Again, with the betting favorites, with Trump taking Pennsylvania. What happens when we turn Pennsylvania red? Well, take a look here. Donald Trump wins in the Electoral College, 287 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 251 electoral votes. So that is why I say it is pivotal, 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 pivotal. Well, yeah. it, it is so important. It's, add, it's, 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 it's worth adding letters, I it's, will it's say. Add, it's worth adding letters. I can't even get it out. The bottom line is it is so important. This state is very, very important. You important data people like to call it a tipping point state. It looks yes. like Pennsylvania could be the tipping point state, which means the one state that will decide the election. Now, if it is, in fact, the tipping point state, is there any elected official in Pennsylvania who may have been on a ticket that might have made a difference. Well, this was the great <laughs> right? question when Kamala Harris was making her VP selection. Who should she select? And, of course, folks like myself thought that she should take Josh Shapiro, of course, as the governor of the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Why? Because his approval rating is 59%. And mm. the bottom line is, 
If Kamala Harris loses in the state of Pennsylvania, and that is the tipping point state, as Mr. Berman put it, the state that put Donald Trump over the top in the Electoral College, there are going to be some real questions as to whether Kamala Harris should have chosen Josh Shapiro, given how popular he is in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Could she have been a winner if she had chosen him instead of Tim Waltz? We don't know the answer to that question. We don't know who's going to win the state of Pennsylvania, but it's certainly a question that at this particular moment, with the Pennsylvania polls getting tighter and tighter and tighter, that I'm certainly asking, John. Harry, and great. So um, it definitely hurt her odds by, um, by uh, not elect, by um, picking Tim Waltz over, uh, over Pennsylvania's uh, uh, governor. That probably would have helped her in Pennsylvania a little bit. Um, and, and Tim Tim Waltz turned out to be a freaking disaster. <laughs> he is horrible. Tampon Tim. She tried to appease the far leftists in her um, in in her party, and now they're stuck with Tim Waltz, who is again, like I said, is a disaster. Terrible, terrible um, a pick uh, for 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 vice president, and again might end up hurting her in the end. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.